How's it going everybody? It's Christian L here with Eat Like an Apex. This morning, it's about 10.30 in the morning, I decided to stop by a familiar food truck that I've been to here in San Mateo, California called Jaylee's Cochina. I'm gonna try another dish that I've, I've never tried here before but was definitely recommended by uh, Jaylee's himself. With that said, stick with me here and uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, I hope you find time to subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. And I'm gonna show you everything in this video right now. Ah! So that familiar face, remember him from the other video? <laughs> Are you ready for the mole? Yes, I am ready for the mole. And the Baja fish taco. And the Baja fish taco. I'm excited to show it, present it, and uh, uh, eat it because I'm really hungry. Okay. <laughs> you have everything. Yeah, you have everything. Okay. So it's the man right here. It's coming, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, just waiting here for my food at Ajaylee's Cochina. Excited to try it yet again because I definitely love uh, their Oaxacan style dishes they serve here. Very kind, very cool person. Definitely recommending um, his food if you're ever uh, in town in San Mateo area to check out his food truck. So I'm anticipating some really good Oaxacan mole. So they also have, they have tacos, they have Mexican food here. Baja fish tacos, um, some burritos, regular burrito, super burrito, got the Cali burrito. Whenever try the Cali burrito. That looks like something I want to get next time. Oh, a wet burrito. And then you have some breakfast burritos on here. Oh, I've had sope before, those are really good. So a number of different items here that uh, this truck serves. A few pictures here, the nachos, wet burrito. How's it going everybody? I'm here at Jay Lee's uh, yet again and I met a, a couple of uh, friends out here who come to this truck often, as they said, the secret spot. And uh, this is Ken yep. and Derek. And Derek, what do you guys order from here? Like, Oh, the Al Pastor is delicious. The Al Pastor is the man. Okay, so you do like the tacos or burritos or? I'm a tacos guy. Tacos I guy. go carnitas and al pastor. Oh, carnitas and al pastor. Huh? Yep. And then you do the you're an al pastor guy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you've done the mole. And I've done the mole. Mole is good. Yeah. And I think that's the one of their. Is good. Yeah, I think one of their specialties is the Oaxacan food here. Mm. Mole. And yeah. If you ever had Oaxacan food, this is the spot. A lot of food trucks don't have Oaxacan. Yeah. Food. So you get a lot of Oaxacan down in L.A. And so, oh, did you? Yeah, that was one of the reasons I really like this place. Oh, right on, right on. Well, appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy your meal. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Man. Thanks, man. Food is almost ready. I'm getting ready to get it, bagging it up, and uh, we're gonna get going. I'm gonna take this home, present it, show it, and uh, get ready to eat it. So, again, thanks to, to Jay Lee's for having uh, me come out here. We're gonna go home and try this out, okay? Thank you. Yeah, my friend. Thank you. So I decided to bring this food home and enjoy it in the comfort of my own home because I'm not too far from the food truck. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Ready for me to devour. So just got back to uh, the house to enjoy this meal here from Jaylee's Cochina. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it because the food, as I take it out of the bag, they're still pretty hot. I want to get right into the first item that I had ordered. It's the, the Oaxacan mole. Pop that open there. Oh, yeah. Check it out. You have the Oaxacan mole there. Chicken mole. Spanish rice. And they have um, some of the beans. But look at that mole. Oh, that looks just so delicious. They also provided uh, me with um, some fresh corn tortillas. These fresh corn tortillas here to dip into that mole sauce if I need to or make a little taco. So, yes, let me just put this over here. Okay, let us get started with this wonderful meal. First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give that chicken mole a try here. I'll just give it a bite without any other contents to eat it with. Wow, that chicken is so tender. It's very soft. It has absorbed that negro mole sauce. A kind of that mole sauce is kind of a a combination of um, barbecue sauce, some other seasonings. For if you've ever made mole before, you know that there are a number of ingredients that 
are used to make the mole. And so you got all those different kind of flavors in, just in that in that sauce here. And that's what I'm tasting. Oh, it's so good. And it has a little bit of that sesame seed on the mole. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the tortilla and I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little taco. Add some, some rice here. Oh, my daughter wants tortilla. Yeah, you could have one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a bite. Mole taco. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sauce is excellent. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna add some more of that sauce into that tortilla without anything else and just kind of use it as a, uh, kind of like a bread and, bread and sauce dip. Yeah, wow. I got a spoon here too. Oh, that's gonna work perfectly with my, with the rice. So the next thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that mole chicken. I'm gonna put it on the rice. Give it a nice mix. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop up some of that chicken mole. Put some of that rice on here. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get this all in one bite right here. Mm-hmm. Oh. My fork got some mole on it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That Spanish rice goes great with the chicken mole. And I have a little bit of a mole sauce just laying on that rice there. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this here. Chase it with some beans. Yeah, again, that consistency of that mole sauce just blows my mind. It's, the flavors are just you, you can't pinpoint it down to just one particular flavor. It, it kind of gives it its own unique type of flavor. It has a bold taste to it, smooth taste to it, a tiny bit of spice, not so much. It's not really that spicy. You could eat this in a tortilla with rice. You could eat it by itself if you want to. Just eat that sauce. Yes, yeah. Make another taco, another chicken mole taco, just like that. I also ordered a Baja fish taco. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. So you got those tomatoes, you have some guacamole, some the lettuce, uh, these carrots right here, kind of a, a condiment to it. And you have that, it might be a pan fried or, or grilled fish. It might be a pan fried fish. Put some lime. Now there's two tortillas here. Well, yeah, I should just use all two tortillas. Let's, I'm just gonna use all two. I'm gonna get a nice hefty bite. Yeah, take a look at that. Oh, yeah, oh, it's falling. Mm -hmm. That's good. It definitely is a good Baja fish taco. My, probably my only criticism about this taco here is I'm pretty sure in the next one bite or two bites, I could actually tackle this in, in one bite, it'll be gone. My only reserve in this is that I wish it was a little bigger for me to enjoy. Uh, overall, um, everything about this, the toppings, all the uh, ingredients inside of here makes for a really good fish taco. I think that about covers it here. Uh, finished practically most of all the food. Really good food at Jaylee's Cochina here in San Mateo, California. A place where you can get authentic Oaxacan dishes, uh, a number of other Mexican dishes that you can pick and choose from. Like I said, aside from the, the taco not being as large as I would want it, the flavor, how it's made, uh, definitely makes up for lack of size. Maybe. Okay, with that said, I'm gonna close this video off here. Hope you like the video, give it a thumbs up if you do like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate that. Peace out, one love late. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications for more street food video updates from this channel. Later.